Ooh, what's up everybody it's wish me back at you with another video in the last video i went over how to download and set up geforce one and in today's video i'm going to be going over how you can avoid lagging when you're playing fortnite mobile when it is finally released in the geforce one app if you would like to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we do upload a video so that you are one of the first to know the details on everything related to GeForce One because we're gonna be doing a bunch of tutorial videos because I know a lot of you do not know how a lot of this works because it's very new for most of us. So when I learn things, I'll make videos on it and share it with you all immediately. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the settings section. You just tap on the three lines in the top left corner and there's only two tabs since it's only the beta and just go in the settings. And you're gonna see on the right side, the first thing you can see is server location. You're just going to want to have that on auto so it puts you on the one closest to you. For the streaming quality, you're going to want to put it to custom. And then you're going to want to go down to the maximum bit rate that you'll be able to do and put that to custom. And then you can adjust your bit rate based on your internet. If you know your internet is weak, you are going to want to put it on a lower bit rate. That way it'll lag less because it won't be requiring as many megabytes of internet to play the game. So basically, if you have a really strong internet connection, you can afford to have your bitrate higher, but if you have a weak internet connection and try to play on a high bitrate, it is just going to be laggy because remember, we're playing the game streaming through a Safari web browser basically, but it's going to feel like a normal game, but it's not. So it does take more internet than it would have in the past. That is why this is really crucial. I would recommend testing out playing on a low bitrate and then a high bitrate and then trying to find the right middle ground. Because as of now in the beta, there aren't too many settings you can change as far as the performance. And because of that, I think maximizing that one is going to be really crucial to maximizing the performance of your game. You can also see I was looking at the resolution. I would recommend playing on whatever it is defaulted set on when you first download it. And then if you have black bars on the side, go in and adjust it and mess around with it until it's full screen. And the entire picture is from corner to corner perfectly set up if this video was helpful at all please do drop a like make sure you're subscribed with notifications on if you want to be kept up to date with everything that comes out news related to this because we are going to be keeping you all up to date thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace